Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Giant Mummified Finger in 1988, Gregor Spori, an entrepreneur from Switzerland who used to work as a private investigator, embarked on a journey that would change his life forever. He traveled to Egypt to meet an old man, living 100 kilometers northeast of Cairo, who claimed to possess a rare family treasure. A giant mummified finger, with a fingernail still attached. This story may sound like something out of a Hollywood movie, but it is a true story that has fascinated many people. The old man, who remains anonymous, claimed that the finger was found in the grave of a giant mummy near the Giza pyramids. According to him, the owner of the finger must have been about 16 feet in height. The finger was dark brown and looked old, and it was accompanied by an X-ray that revealed the bone structure of the finger. When Gregor Spori first saw the giant finger, he was stunned. He later said, I was totally flabbergasted when I saw the dark brown giant finger. I was allowed to hold it and take some pictures. He was fascinated by the finger's size and the fact that it was still intact after all those years. Despite Gregor Spori's interest in the giant finger, the old man refused to sell it because it was too important to his family. The finger had been passed down through generations and it was a symbol of their heritage. For them, it was not just an artifact but a part of their family history. Gregor Spori left Egypt without the finger, but he was not deterred. He knew that he had to learn more about the finger's history and its connection to ancient Egypt. What do you think? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Once upon a time, in a small town nestled in the heart of a dense forest, there was a peculiar culture that had emerged over time. The people of this town believed in what they called the culture of the bull. According to their beliefs, they were all cattle, living on a piece of land that was owned and controlled by a powerful force. This force, they believed, was responsible for everything that happened in their lives, and they were merely puppets in its hands. At first, this belief system seemed harmless, and people went about their lives without much fuss. But soon, things started to change. The people began to act like cattle, moving around in herds, following each other blindly, and never questioning anything that happened around them. They would graze on the same patch of land, day in and day out, never venturing beyond their borders, never daring to explore the world beyond. As the years passed, the culture of the bull became more and more ingrained in their society. It became a way of life, and people accepted it as the truth without question. But there were a few who saw through the veil of lies and deception. They refused to be cattle, and wanted to break free from the shackles of this oppressive culture. One of these people was a young man named Alex. He had grown up in the town, but he had always felt like an outsider. He had always questioned the beliefs of the people around him and had a desire to see the world beyond their borders. One day, he decided to act on his desire and ventured out into the unknown. What he found beyond the borders of his town was a world of wonder and magic. He met people who thought differently, who believed in their own power and ability to shape their lives. He realized that the culture of the bull was nothing but a lie, a way for those in power to keep the people under their control ever heard of that. Anyway, there are forces that think they can keep us as cattle on a piece of land. I don't think so personally, but everyone is free to decide if you look at the picture with this post. 
Isn't it funny that we find a lot of Zeus and devil words in the meaning for God? What does that tell us? Are the ones doing this to our plain worshippers of some specific kind? You know what I mean. The famous quote by Mark Twain, truth is stranger than fiction, but it is because fiction is obliged to stick to possibilities, truth isn't, suggests that the events and occurrences in reality can often be more surprising, extraordinary, and even bizarre than what can be imagined in fiction. The statement implies that while authors are bound to write within the limits of what is possible, real-life events and circumstances can often be unpredictable and unbelievable transcending the boundaries of what we perceive as plausible or reasonable. In essence, Twain is saying that reality is not restricted by the same rules as fiction, which must be grounded in some form of reality, while truth can go beyond what we might consider possible or expected. As a result, sometimes, the things that happen in the world can be more amazing or unusual than the most imaginative and creative fiction precisely because the truth is not limited to the boundaries of what we can conceive or imagine. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Everything inside me.